In a post-apocalyptic world where bugs invade Earth, a young family struggles to survive. The family has recently the family has recently lost lost their mother as it's revealed that the family's mother was a member of the Nova Corps who joined their ranks in order to defend Earth. During the night, however, the family is attacked by bugs. Anwin, one of the daughters of this family, is separated during the attack, only to be mysteriously saved by her own mother. The family appears to be unaware that another being is watching them, and this being is Thanos. And now, it, now this book isn't actually based off um, the Infinity Gauntlet um, storyline. It's actually based off it's it's its own unique thing. Again, like I said with Twenty Nine Nine, this book doesn't appear to be an actual um, place in Battle World. It. It appears to be its own unique thing. I'm not sure where Infinity Gauntlet is going to fit in with relation to the actual tie-in event. Um, honestly, compared to the other two, I didn't enjoy this as much as I thought I was going to. As I mentioned, there is little to no crossover um, with, with the actual Secret Wars event. Um, we do see a Thanos. Um, Thanos does indeed appear in this book. He's not in any way related to the Cabal version that we see in Secret Wars. So, it's a very, very strange book, um, that I don't think is going to be relevant to the actual entire crossover event. Um, but what I did find interesting was this. Um, we get to see um, that the Nova Corps appear to be the primary heroes of this sort of universe-based version um, of Infinity Gauntlet. Um, and basically, um, it sort of has that Fantastic Four-esque type idea, but with the Nova Corps. And I found that really, really interesting. We also get a couple, um, of appearances from the Infinity Stones. And what's interesting with the Infinity Stones is that, um, I think the Infinity Stones are, are actually going to be used by some of the, by this Nova Corps family. So I found that just very, very interesting. Um, and I'm definitely interested in, um, in seeing how this book progresses. But in terms of actually picking the book up, I don't think I would recommend it. I would actually wait and get this in trade. Um, and I would really, really encourage you guys to do that um, compared to the rest. Because I think Infinity Gauntlet is going to be its own thing entirely. And, it's, and Marvel has just thrown in Secret Wars so people will buy it. I think you might enjoy it more when it's all together in a single volume and you can read it all the way through and sort of decide for yourself how you feel about the book. Anyway guys, I'm Robin Up one here, and I shall see you all very soon for the next uh, Secret Wars review. Bye.